Now, this surge in new infections has local school districts feeling the impact of in the form of teacher shortages. For more on schools and their fight against COVID-19, we join Eyewitness News' Cody Bailey, who is live in Evansville, with more for us. Cody? Good evening, Shelley. Yeah, the latest COVID rise in cases, yes, it is proving to have an increased number of infections, obviously, but this time around, it's not only impacting students, but it's also hitting their classroom leaders as well. Schools and universities across the region have felt the latest pinch of the pandemic. Some schools, including Mount Carmel High School, have resorted to remote learning with staff shortages on the rise. For the Evansville Vandenberg School Corporation, a new substitute teaching incentive will hopefully keep students in the classroom. They're really instrumental to our success in all times, but especially when you look back during the pandemic. Of course, with a pandemic, you have more people that, for whatever reason, uh, due to themselves or family members, have to miss work, and you've got to have substitute teachers to come in and keep those classrooms going because, in essence, that's what allows us then to continue to offer in-person instruction. The incentive, an extra $40 per day for substitute teachers. While this is a temporary move, the feeling is that this bonus will be around for the foreseeable future. As long as the numbers remain as high as they are now, this is something we'll keep in place. You know, we may have to then remove that at some point if the numbers start to come down. But for the time being, we're going to continue to monitor that data. And where it stands right now, this will keep the incentive in place. The latest COVID surge has prompted Vincennes University to move to virtual learning to mitigate the rise in Omicron cases. Along with staff shortages, a rise in cases has prompted some districts to return to a mask mandate, including a newly instituted temporary mandate for North Posey schools and a mandate for a majority of schools in the Warwick County School District. For the EVSC, who has maintained their mask mandate through the pandemic, it's business as usual. We simply haven't seen conditions get to that point that we feel like changing that very important mitigation strategy is in our best favor. And one of those school districts that we just mentioned, Warwick County Schools, they have seen the rise in cases as well. And they've also temporarily returned to their mask mandates for the majority of those schools. We have attempted several times to reach out to the district office in Warwick County for comment on the rise in cases and the potential staff shortages there. But they have declined to comment on that situation.